Hi everyone, this is Aditya. Um, uh, have you been thinking of investing in, in real estate um, and you're lost with what way to go? Then this video is for you. So today I'm going to share what are the ways that you can get into real estate easily and rip the benefits what real estate has to offer you. So without the delay, I'll get in right. And sorry, before I get into the what are the ways, you have to think that why real estate? So for me, you know, I, I, I have, I've been thinking uh, for a while that this world has changed so much. Before, if you, like in, um, in, in my childhood, like it, um, when it is in 1990s, uh, people used to save like more than half of their salary uh, and buy the assets, um, especially at least uh, where I come from in India. Um, and then it changed in, in 2000. Uh, people started to spend more and save less. And now generation literally more than 80% of the uh, generation mini millennials, um, they spend more than what you earn. So if you're in this situation, then you're in dangerous situation. Rather, you have to change in such a way that save a little bit and invest into real estate. That will grow even if you're spending more because it's a consumer world. So protect yourself. And get it, let me get into the topic right away. So first way is to buy the property by yourself. So if you have time and if you're interested to learn uh, and do um, get the be full benefits what a real estate has to offer then this is the best way uh, to get in. Um, by the way I have made um, a video four weeks ago it says how I made 100,000 equity um, in my first property with my first property so you can watch there a specific details how I purchased and what type of property I purchased um, what are the things uh, how are the what are the things um, I have to know and all those things like for a literally a beginner so I don't want to go deep into that uh, you can watch that video and also I made another video where I gave you a, a 10 specific steps that you can expect when you're purchasing your first property so but in short buy a property which is producing income for you which is an asset rather than liability so um, that literally you are leveraging your money you can by the way you can start with five percent down that's definitely doable if you're buying a property for from one to four units then you can get it for uh, five percent or less than if you're in states you can even get for like three percent uh, in Canada, you can get for 5% and you can get some cash back. So it's like less than uh, 5%. Um, you are leveraging your money. So literally, um, what I mean by the leverage, so if you're buying a 100,000 property, you're buying it for 5% down. That means bank is giving you 95,000 and you're bringing 5,000 of your own money and you're buying an asset. So now the, this 100,000 worth property, if it appreciate and if it um, make, uh, if it becomes 200,000 next year, I know that's exaggerating, but let's assume. So if it becomes 200 next year, then your 5,000 5, made extra 100,000. So because you leveraged your money, so 5,000 became 100,000. That means you got... 20% 200% return on your money sorry not 200% uh, more um, literally you made 20 times of your money so it's like not 100% it's not uh, 200 it's 2000 percent return on your money so that's that's the power of leverage so and that's the best way if you have enough time um, if you are interested to um, get more into real estate and the second way you know 
do joint venture with the active real estate investor um, so what I mean by that partner with a person who is actively doing stuff like you know for example me um, right now I'm doing I'm uh, buying many uh, properties where I'm renovating and uh, you know, doing a lot of good stuff so my cousin jumped into the uh, picture he said you know let's do a joint venture so he doesn't have enough time but he's a businessman he knows what is the business and he earns money he wants to uh, put that into real estate so he said okay let's make a joint venture so he comes up with the um, money that i need for buying an asset and we buy the property and i do take care of literally everything except bringing in money so it's a it's a big win win between both the parties so he is bringing in the money and i'm bringing in the expertise i'm bringing in the contacts i'm bringing in the contractors i'm bringing in the actual work so this way both of them so now what an investor can get out of it i'll give you a small example uh, of um, my project that i have done recently so mm, we purchased a duplex for 145,000 and um, uh, we got this with the cash so we did not leverage it um, and we we need like 50,000 for renovating it and um, you know, making it a nice livable condition so we literally invested on that project um, 210,000 so my investor he got the money for that whole thing he funded the whole project and after the renovations because now we forcefully appreciated the property so after uh, six months um, so uh, six months from now the project will be appraised at least at least 250 or 280 so even if it appraised for the the comparable shows that it will be going for 280 or 300 but i would go with the conservative number so even if it appraisal value is 250 um, he gets his money out within six months and he still have 50 percent partnership on the deal and that's just one example there are many different ways you can structure this uh, joint venture deal but what i'm trying to say is if you find the person who is actively uh, involved in real estate um, it's always good to start with the, your inner circle whom you know better whom you can trust um, do your due diligence what the person is doing and what type of investments he's doing so if you do that then that's a huge huge benefit because you are literally a passive investor but you're getting a heavy rear um, it, it's not great as the first method but definitely it's, it's great because if you're making way higher return on spending your time on some other business then you can still take the benefit of um, the, your money so benefit uh, advantage of real estate so that's the second way and the third way is to um, lend your money uh, lean on uh, real estate so it's high secure if you're doing it for has a first mortgage if you're taking a little bit more a uh, little bit of extra risk uh, going for a second uh, mortgage or third mortgage which is you know the the, uh, the mortgage uh, position goes up then the, your risk is going up so but if you're doing it for the first mortgage that means it's it's secured on a real estate property and you can get returns like you know um, way higher than what banks offer you like um, so I, I offer 12% um, for some of the deals and for some of the deals and some people there are people who um, does give you like 15% uh, even more and there it, it really depends on how you structure but the point is here um, you can lend money secured on um, real estate so rather than putting your money just in the bank if you're sitting with hundred thousand or two hundred thousand if you have RRSPs or uh, you know, um, the government funds that you uh, 
withdraw from your uh, income into the government funds then you can use that money instead of sitting there which is making like two percent or three percent you can use that money and um, invest with the rates or in with the active investor like me um, that can make you literally um, at least a 10 percent return on your income so with that thank you very much for your valuable time spending your valuable time on this video and i wish you a good luck have a wonderful day or evening and please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more stuff there is a lot more to come i'm gonna make uh, videos on my next videos will be um how i st uh, got my first joint venture and uh, there are a lot more things i planned for you guys so don't forget to subscribe thank you very much once again